This is Ethiopia's northern Tigray region. Mazebe Waini is recovering at a maternity waiting home. She recently lost her baby while in labor. This facility gives her access to skilled health workers who monitor her recovery. I would have lost my life if I had attempted to deliver at home and if I didn't receive the necessary treatment and care at the hospital. My house is about an hour drive from here by car. More than 85% of Ethiopia's population live in rural areas. For some pregnant women, the trip to a health clinic can be hundreds of kilometers away. Some clinics don't have delivery facilities. This maternity waiting home is very essential for this area because we have people living in very remote areas who could be having labor in areas that are outside mobile telephone network coverage or difficult locations to reach by ambulance. So we thought it would be safer for them to stay here between three days to one week before the anticipated day of delivery. The initiative is showing progress. 20 maternity waiting homes have been opened in the country. We focused in this area because it's located in the border of uh, Afar. So these people are nomads, they are walking around, they, they are not settled in one place. Uh, and this, this hospital is serving 1,001 million population. So if we uh, set a maternity waiting home here, it serves not only the population in the ASP area, it also serves in the, uh, the, the community coming from the other uh, regions like Afa. In the future, government hopes the homes will accommodate more pregnant women and bring skilled prenatal and postnatal care to Ethiopia's rural areas. Tuli Shabalala, CGTN.